You can come and sit right up, up here. We're going to be reading a story. So I'm going to read a story. And then after I finish reading the story, then we'll go over to the table and we'll give everybody a big piece of paper. And we have crayons and markers and colored pencils. And then you can draw something from the story. So you don't have to draw like everything from the whole story because that'd be a lot of stuff to draw. Maybe you can draw a certain character or a certain thing that happens in the book or whatever you want. So you can pretend that you're an illustrator of a book. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there were three hungry travelers. They had been traveling the country for many days and they were very hungry. Fortunately, they saw the lights of a village up ahead. As they approached the village, one of the villagers spotted them and turned to his wife. Oh great, here come some more people from out of town and they're going to ask us for something to eat. His wife replied, quick, let's hide our food and tell them we don't have any. That's a good idea. I'll move everything to the cellar. You go next door and warn the neighbors. The wife ran around the village and warned the neighbors about the approaching strangers. The villagers quickly stashed their carrots under their beds, potatoes in their cupboards, cabbages under their chairs, and draped quilts over hunks of beef hanging in their cellars. The travelers came to the first house. Excuse me, one traveler said. We have been walking for a long time and are famished. Could you please spare a bit of food for our growling stomachs? Sorry, said the man, joining his wife in the doorway. We are low on food ourselves. As you can see, our cupboards are bare. Oh, said one of the travelers, we understand that times are tough. Thank you for your time. The same thing happened at the house next door, the one after that, and at every house on the block. When the travelers realized all the villagers were gathered around, one called out, People of the village! We are three hungry travelers. We asked you for food, but you have none. We will have to make rock stew. The crowd buzzed with murmurs. They had never heard of rock stew before. First, we will need a large pot, the largest pot you have. The villagers rushed away and brought back a pot. A fire was built and the pot set to boil. Now, the most important ingredient of all, we need three round, smooth rocks. The children were sent away and came back with the rocks. The travelers carefully dropped them into the pot. All the villagers were gathered around now, peering at the pot in amazement. Stew made from rocks? Do you by chance have some salt and pepper? Children ran away and returned with the salt and pepper. The stones you found make good stew, but it would be even better if there were carrots. I might be able to spare a carrot or two, said one woman as she hurried away and came back with a large basket of carrots. Perfect, exclaimed the travelers as they sliced the carrots into the pot. Potatoes would be delicious, but there's no use asking for something you don't have. I'll see if I can find a few potatoes, offered a man. He returned with a burlap sack full of potatoes. If only we had some cabbage, then the stew would really be tasty. As if by magic, villagers came back with cabbages and added them to the pot. I know you don't have any, but if there were some beef and barley, this stew would be fit for a king. A king? Well, perhaps they had a little bit of each. This was a special occasion after all. The travelers stirred all the ingredients together, the salt and the pepper, the carrots, the potatoes, the cabbage, the beef, the barley, and of course, the rocks. The villagers watched in anticipation. Good people of the village, I'm sure you're all excited to taste rock stew. We need to set a table. The villagers carried great tables and chairs, spoons and bowls, bread and cider. Everyone sat down together for the great feast. The rock stew was the best thing they had ever tasted. Everyone ate and talked and laughed and danced until late into the night. The travelers were invited to sleep in the fanciest houses in the village. The next morning, the whole village gathered to say goodbye to the travelers. Thank you for teaching us to make rock stew. Because of you, we will never go hungry now that we know how to make stew from rocks. Glad to help, the travelers called as they walked away. Goodbye. The end. Do you know what you want to say about your picture? Excellent.
What's your name? Angelo. Angelo. And how old are you, Angelo? Seven. Seven. Great. Can you tell us about your picture? So, they start out. Two hungry men were trying to get food, and they go house to house, and they ask people, and they're going to make rocks stew, and then they, they need ingredients from the people, and then they ask all the ingredients, and then they have a dinner. And then all night, and then they talk and laugh and do stuff. All right, perfect. So what, what's happening over here? They are having food. They're having the food? Mm-hmm. Do they eat the rocks that were in the mm -hmm. stew, do you think? Yes. Was there more stuff in the stew other than rocks? Yes. Yeah. Great, well thank you, Angelo. Thanks for telling us about your picture. What's your name? So my name is Ben and I'm five and a half and, the, and I went to my store. So they walked in from the house, went to a village, they, and they were washed in the forest. And they were like, oh, some travelers are coming to us as well. They all, and then they are, oh, we don't know where they are. Then they went to the city, lived there, and then they lived it there. Oh, okay, so this is the city? Yeah, and then they went back in town and found the house. Over oh, okay. There. This is the house. Yeah. And are these the people? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Ben. My name is Marcus, and I am five years old. Marcus, can you tell us about your picture? Yeah. This is a warrior. A warrior. Okay. This is Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato, okay, I like it. This is a giant soup. That's the rock stew they're going to eat? Rock okay. Stew. And that's a bridge. Okay, that's the bridge. That can hold up um, the cloud and not make them go away. Are these houses? Yes. Who lives in the houses? Um, a giant. A giant? Mm -hmm. And these people down here look like they're saying something. What are they saying? They're saying, mmm, and this guy's saying yum. Why are they and saying that? Because they think it looks so yummy. Ah, okay. And this guy's just staring at the soup. Great job. You did a great job. Very Thank you so much. <laughs> What's your name? Karsten. Karsten? And how old are you, Karsten? Ten. Ten? Okay. Cool. Can you tell us about your picture? Let's see. Is this the village right here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, and I see... What's this right here? The table. The table where they ate the, the rock stew. That's kind of how I pictured it, too. Is this part of the table, or what's this part over here? The stew. The stew. Oh, I see. Excellent. And what's this right here? A little trail. A trail. Oh, I this like it. This is a special house. And what's special about it? All different type of colors and fancy inside. Oh, fancy inside. Is that where one of the fancy houses where they had the travelers spend the night? Yes. Excellent. You were really listening to the story. Well, thank you very much, Karsten.